New York City. I'm Alana Leffler, head of retail marketing for the Americas at Cushman and Wakefield. And with me this afternoon is Garrick Brown, head of retail research for the Americas at Cushman and Wakefield. How are you doing, Garrick? Hey, great, Alana. How's it going? Good, good. How's your day going so far? Crazy, crazy. It's been pretty nonstop. Um, I guess the death of retail, that report was a little premature. Um, the show is. I would guess 10% more attendees than last year. Uh, and it looks like there's a lot of deals getting done. It's just, as with everything in retail, it's evolving and the type of deals that are getting done are a little bit different than what we saw in the past. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more creativity going into things, a lot more thoughtfulness, and um, given the current landscape, a lot of changes. Sure, I mean, really what it comes down to is that as much as some of the traditional apparel players, department stores, have found really a challenging environment, uh, we're seeing explosive growth from off-price apparel. Uh, certainly them, dollar stores, discounters, warehouse stores, those guys are growing at record pace. Uh, and then on the other end, luxury really seems poised for a comeback in 2018. Um, I think the probable passage of the tax cuts, uh, especially since most of the benefit will be to upper income individuals, we'll probably see something similar to what happened with the Bush tax cuts, which is that luxury retail saw their numbers shoot up for about three years consecutively. Mm -hmm. We also saw a lot of growth from those players. Uh, and even in this you know, e-commerce dominated era, something to keep in mind is that one of the things we're seeing a lot of upscale brands do is that they're worried about keeping the integrity of their brand intact in an age of race to the bottom discounting. So sure. like Nike is a great example. You know, they had over 400 major uh, wholesale accounts until a few months ago. They trimmed it down to about 40 and they're gonna do a lot more direct to consumer, both online, but they're gonna be growing the store base. And I think a lot of other brands are gonna be doing that what it comes down to is a lot of upscale brands, because of the discounting going on with some of their wholesale clients, are pulling away from those relationships. Uh, they want to make sure that their brand stays at the high end, that their price point that they can command stays at the high end. They don't want to cannibalize themselves. So a lot of them are going to be in the market uh, over the next year or two, growing uh, upscale retail. The challenge is in the middle is where I see it. And that's what's garnering all these headlines. But you know, the sky isn't falling. There's just a right. massive evolutionary shift going on. Right, right. That's really interesting. Well, we'll see what um, what comes of that as we move forward. And we just passed Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holiday shopping season is upon us, the busiest time of year for retailers. What are you seeing and what do you think the outcome is going to be with this season? Well, everything I'm hearing uh, anecdotally is that traffic is up. Uh, Cyber Monday, of course, set records. That's not a surprise. Every year, e-commerce growth has been 15, 16, 17 percent while overall retail, which includes e-commerce, it's usually been about 3%. What we think is gonna happen this year, though, is that we have an extra weekend in the holiday season, which is gonna be positive for all retail, bricks and mortar and yeah. online. Uh, we also have consumer confidence at its highest level since 2000. Uh, we have unemployment at lower levels than before the recession. And we've actually had, going on three years consecutively, of income growth across the board, even though it's been modest, it's been real. Uh, so we're looking at that, and while holiday sales last year increased by about 4%, I'm forecasting about 4.2% this year. Wow. Uh, and, I, and I think that it's gonna be a really solid year for a lot of retailers out there. Uh, will it be enough to save some of the truly challenged ones? No, but you know, it kind of works like this, is that if you have a poor Christmas and you're on the edge, that's enough to push you over. Uh, and then those who are maybe semi-challenged end up being kind of on the edge. I think it's going to slow the pace of that. Uh, it's not going to save some of the brands that are already in deep trouble, but for everyone else, it really comes as a, a welcome respite, I think. Great.
Well, we'll see if that prediction comes true at the end of the year. Um, well, thank you so much for being with us today. And if you want to see more of Garrick Brown tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., Thursday the 7th, he's going to be hosting a food halls panel with a lot of other um, great chefs and industry experts from the food and beverage industry. So you can catch him then. And thank you all for tuning in. And if you're at the Javits Center, come on down. We're at booth 2235, Cushman and Wakefields.